In the meantime, though, we are talking horse racing and history in this morning's Where's Marty segment. Marty is live once again. Good morning. We're talking about horse racing, Marty. We're talking about a specific brand of Mid Atlantic and Maryland racing, steeplechase racing. You were just talking about, you know, Tiger Woods, the Masters coming up in Augusta this weekend. We're talking about athletes, beast, and man that are performing at the very highest level. Um, once again, Jay Young in the center, chairman of the uh, Manor Foundation, uh, Ross Pierce, who is basically running the races. It's not this weekend, my bad. Uh, Easter weekend, uh, a week from a week from this weekend, uh, the 16th, Saturday, April 16th, day before Easter, and Bill Pierce, who we've just known forever, WJZ. Uh, I was talking to you earlier. We have like um, a triple crown of steeplechase racing in Maryland. Correct. Um, it's the My Leaves Manor Race, which you're here today to learn about that. You know, you're in Harvard County. Harvard County, uh, Moncton. Uh, following weekend, we go over to Butler in the Western Run Valley for the Grand National. And then the third week uh, that culminates the Triple Crown of Maryland uh, Steeplechase Racing, the Maryland Hunt Cup down in the Worthington Valley, down on Topton Avenue. It's uh, steeped in tradition. We're actually the youngest kid on the block here at 111 years. Uh, the Maryland Hunt Cup, I think, is celebrating their 125th year. So, uh, and the Grand National, I think, is 119 years. So it's, it's quite a, a tradition here in Maryland. This part of the fabric of the history of Maryland, but the history of horse racing in Maryland. If you do a detailed study, of Cecil County, I think people would be shocked, Harvard County, Baltimore County, even in Carroll County, how many, how many competitive horse farms there are. Yeah. And you guys give back to the community. There'll be monies raised by ticket prices, uh, sponsors and whatnot, and you give it right back to the community. Exactly. The Manor Foundation is a uh, 501c3 charity, and all the funds that are raised here, basically, we, we give back. So there is a land preservation organization called the Manor Conservancy. We contribute to them. We contribute to Ladue Gardens. Um, Local volunteer fire departments. Right. How, how, how many thousands of acres out here are preserved? 20. 2,000 contiguous acres right here where we are here and in the north part of the country there's about 7,000 more. That is, that is absolutely wild. How many folks are you expecting uh, a week from Saturday? We usually have from 10 to 12,000 um, spectators. That's spectacular. They, they're, they're, those, they're, they're out doing morning training. Yes, yes exactly. Every morning. So you do, and, and regardless now, of the weather. <laughs> yeah, regardless of the weather. Now they're not going to make the jumps right now but how many jumps are there? There's 16 in this race. And you did that for the glory. <laughs> for the glory. <laughs> so, so, so did anybody in your family ever say, hey, Ross, for real? Uh, my family's been doing it for 100 years. Uh, my father rode races. My sister won the Maryland Hunt Cup. Um, I rode races. Uh, a lot of the relatives have ridden in these for the, for the it's, a, it's a mental illness. <laughs> K2. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just say it together and then we've got to cut. For the glory. One, two, three. For, for the, the glory. glory. Him. Coming back next half hour, you're going to meet a trainer, you're going to meet an athlete, and you're going to meet a whole bunch of uh, cool things. We'll be right back. <laughs> Thanks, Marty. It's fascinating the horse history here in Maryland. <laughs> yes, and I feel like we have Denise Koch, who's like the horse expert of WJZ. She's not here. She needs to be here. <laughs> yes, yeah, she would appreciate it so much. Well,